Organizing your iPhone apps and screens is a fun exercise to do. You can arrange the apps so important ones are on the first screen, or you can just group similar apps into groups. So let's see how this can be done. First, we need to put the iPhone apps in wiggle mode. And yes, you heard me correctly, it is actually called wiggle mode. This is when all the icons start to wiggle, which is an indication that they're ready to be moved around. Now, there are a few ways to get to this wiggle mode. The traditional way is to simply press and hold any app until the app starts to wiggle. So let me press and hold on the YouTube app here. And as you can see, I'm now in wiggle mode. And to exit out of wiggle mode, you simply click on the iPhone's home button, if you have one, or click in any empty space, like here for example. The second way to activate wiggle mode is to press and hold any app until you see this menu appear. From here, you can click on this option, Edit Home Screen. And to get out of wiggle mode again, I'll press on this empty space over here. And the final way to enter wiggle mode, which in my opinion is the easiest and the quickest, is to just press and hold in any empty space, like over here. So I'll press and hold it. And now in wiggle mode once again. Okay, so what can we do in wiggle mode? Well, we can move apps around and organize them as we wish. For example, let's say I want to move my Amazon app from here to the top right corner of my screen. I would simply enter into wiggle mode, then drag my Amazon app to the top right corner and see how other apps start to move away. And once I bring my Amazon app in the location I want to move it to, I just take my finger off it and just like that, I move my Amazon app. Another thing you can do in wiggle mode is to organize your apps in groups. For example, I personally use different email apps, so I group them together over here. And if I click on this group, it opens up and I can see my different email apps. So to create such a grouping, we first need to go back into wiggle mode. Let's say I want to group my calculator app and my camera app into their own group. So I enter wiggle mode and drag the calculator app right on top of the camera app and hold it there until a new group box opens up. Then I drop my app in it. And as you can see, I now have both my apps in a group. And when I tap anywhere inside the group, I exit wiggle mode. And if I tap anywhere on the screen, I can now see the new group. So as you can see, or as you can imagine, the possibilities are endless to move icons around and group them together. And last but certainly not least, you can rename the group by going back into wiggle mode, tap on the group, and then tap on the name, which will open up the keyboard. And now you can call it anything you like. Let's call this group, uh, well, let's call this channel's name. So let's call this group Applitorial. I'll tap on the X to erase the full name. Then I'll type Applitorial. Then press Done. Then I'll tap Away. And then I'll tap Away once again. And now you can see that the group name has been changed and saved. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so because this helps me to create more helpful videos for you to enjoy. And if there's a particular iOS feature that you want to learn more about, please do let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video for you as soon as possible. And finally, please click on the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you for watching and bye for now.